Welcome, another segment of Lucien Bean Behind the Scene. I have uh, two gorgeous outfits to show you, transitional, and I have some fun updates on the house. Welcome lovelies. I am showing you uh, two versions of styling the tweed swing top from Chrisas. So this landed in the boutique a few weeks ago. It's a spring from the spring collection. And uh, we just wanted to show you how to wear it all year round. So this is my fall, winter, early spring outfit with this top. And I'll show you the next outfit, how to wear it in the summertime. So I really like this outfit. These are the Gia sliders slim pants from Liverpool and we've had them in the blue jeans they're great they lots of stretch I'm wearing a size four and then the swing top from uh, Krisas I'm wearing an uh, extra small love this top and we'll show you too with the jacket off but I love this underneath the jacket because it gives the jacket a little problem interest right and um, it's an extra small we like our jeans jackets quite tight and if you do it like this, then it really accentuates the little flounce that sticks out from under the, under the jacket. And uh, this, of course, amazing jeans jacket from Liverpool, a black one. And a lot of compliments and a lot of great different ways you can... We should do a video on a jeans jacket, actually, on how different ways to wear it. Because it's not just a piece in your wardrobe, it's a staple. Everybody should have a jeans jacket or a few. And then the boutonnieres are refreshed. We have a whole new array of boutonnieres. And I picked this one because of the chartreuse, of course. And I picked this amazing scarf with a little, it's black and white. I love this scarf. It's got these little tassels on it. It's got this great black and white motif. And then it's got a little bit of a chartreuse line running to it. It's a beautiful fabric. I thought it would go really nice with this whole ensemble. I will take the jacket off and show you what it looks like without the jacket. So the top, amazing this fabric, right? It's cat's meow. This is a great winter top. I'm going to show you uh, the summer version of this lovely top. Okay, lovelies, here I am with a little pencil skirt from uh, Lucien Bean. Also, the pencil skirt year-round, right? It's bamboo viscose. It's fabulous fabric. This, I pulled the scarf too that we saw separate, but the same fabric. Amazing. I love this, this one from Cericleo. It makes a really statement. It's got a nice chain and uh, some Cericleo earrings. So I have some uh, news to tell you about the house. So we, Kristen and I did a, a video because it's all drywalled and it's being taped as we speak, should be done in a few days. And then the carpenters are coming in. I'm very, very excited. It's, it's a fun time now. So we are looking at different things. You saw the story on the dining room table, which is very exciting. And now we are looking at the fireplace in the living room. We really, especially Clan, really wanted a wood burning fireplace. Well, it's the, the fireplace itself is not functioning. So that is out of this world. Uh, but when we were in the Netherlands, we visited a few people, including one of my sisters who had a little wooden fireplace, a little box thing and, and you open the door you put the wood in and the chimney goes right out the wall. I don't know how the technical thing works with the chimney yet but anyway it's so it would stand in front of a fireplace. So we went to Stamford fireplace in Niagara Falls and we looked at one and um, we got different you know a different information on it but then uh, we also found out that in those days they burn coal of course. So you can get a gas insert uh, with coals burning and we have to do a little bit we have to do a little bit of manipulation on the fireplace itself but it probably can be done and uh, then we found out that our fireplace the type of fireplace it's called a Windsor arch I believe and it was the fireplace in those days so it is the original fireplace that is in the house which we thought it was and so we're excited about that so now we have to make quite a few decisions and the decision on the fireplace I'm leaning forward more towards the wood and it's just a matter of money too right because everything is uh, getting up there and then uh, lots of things going on at the house right now next is uh, the baseboards that we salvaged we pulled them out when we just bought it we pulled all the baseboards out we had uh, did all the nails are out and they were stored in the backyard under a tarp we brought them into the basement to dry out and the carpenter looked at them and said 
a lot of it can be used. Not everything because it's too rough, but definitely the dining room and the living room and that was the, and the hallway. And that's the most important part. So now we're looking at flooring, the kitchen is designed and we're looking at countertop and all those fun things. And what we've been doing, and I think it's a great idea. I've never done this before, but Clan has done this many times. So he said, I have a dining room table and four chairs that I like to bring into the kitchen area of our new house. So we took the measurements, then we have some pretty substantial paper and we drew uh, the table on it and we drew the four chairs, like the height and the depth. And we brought it to the house, we cut it out, we brought it to the house and we spaced it. And it was so helpful because we thought we might want a round table. So we got a round template out and we spaced it on the floor. Now a round table took way too much space and not conducive. So we're going to go with the table that I have and the four chairs and uh, yeah, all those things are fun. And I think it's really smart to do it because you can, if you, fortunately we don't have to buy that part. We have to buy a lot of other things, but not that part. But if you space it out, you get a really good idea where and what and how. Okay, lovelies, hope you like this segment and uh, you love this top as much as we do. It also comes in a wild berry, beautiful pinkish color. And as always, keep on smiling. Mm -hmm.